All right, um, looking at Matt's putting, look at his setup. I find the stance a little bit too narrow and he's putting a little bit off the tall because both elbows is pointing out. He's standing a little bit too far away from the ball. And even though it's set up, we can see that the ball is a bit too much on the toe. It's not center. And that gets a little pushy, gets a little jabby as well. Backswing is too short. It's not much rhythm over there. Yeah, at this point, I would prefer his elbow to be more tucked into the side of his body. So first of all, the grip, right? We want it to be, we want to putt like this with our palms facing up. Okay, we, we don't want it to move like that or like this. I mean, there are a lot of great players that putt like that, but I personally like it to feel more tucked in, more of the shoulder, less wrist action, you know? But the weight of the putter will actually move the wrist by itself. So if we're like that, we tend to use our wrist too much, okay? So for your grip, I think you grip it pretty well, but it's just that your, your elbows are away from your body, you know? You're standing too far away. But for basic setup, all right? I would like the grip to be more on the lifeline over here. More on the lifeline, yeah, on the side. You can grip it however you want it but I would like it to be more like that instead of our normal iron, like normal hitting grip, yeah? So yeah. more on the side, yeah? Okay. More on the side. All right. Stance is about shoulder width, yeah? Stance we're gonna do about shoulder width. Because for putting, we want to put it on the up, right? We want to put it on the up. We're not gonna try to lift the putter head to not to put it on the up, right? Okay. Because why we don't, why we want to hit it on the up is because if I hit it center, actually I'm hitting more on a down. And sometimes if you're not putting on like really nice greens, the ball will kind of skeet first and then before it starts rolling. And if it hits like a bump or something, you will just go offline. So if you can hit it more on the up, the, like, a, like, a top, like a top putt, like topping the ball, okay, the ball will actually start rolling right away. Even though it hits something, it actually rolls over the bump, you know. Okay. So... Instead of trying to change our stroke to try to lift the, lift the putter head or try to do anything, I would like the ball to be slightly more on the left side. So, let's say the bottom of the putt is over here, and when I reach the ball, I will hit it slightly on the up naturally. Okay? So, how to measure if the ball is on the left, uh, slightly more on the left, and how far you should stand from the ball and how much you should bend over? Putting is different, right? We want to be directly over the ball, just slightly, slightly inside of the ball. The eye line is just slightly inside of the ball. Yeah, we're not hitting like a normal swing, so we cannot stand like that. So we're, we're taking more of a straight back, straight through shot. We are not. I mean, eventually when it gets longer, it will be more in an arc. But for short putts, it's just going to be straight back, straight through. So we can't afford to stand far. Then we'll create an arc. Then it's very hard to start the ball online, right? So try to get as over as you can over the ball, and how to measure that. I'm sure a lot of people have experienced this and know how to do this as well. So set up set up what you think is correct. Like the ball is more on the left side, middle left. And then put the one ball under your left eye, drop it. If it hits that ball, then you're good. Okay? So generally that's the setup. Make sure both elbow is tucked in, eyes over the ball, stance about shoulder width, right? And from here, we want to rock the shoulder. Okay, we basically want to rock the shoulder. What, how you can practice to rock the shoulder is just point both of your palms out and just rock it like that. If it's like this, sometimes I can move my hands, you know, and stuff. So it's better to just practice like that. So when you grip the, grip the putter, you go on the left side, arms tuck to your side, straight. Okay, so when the ball's in the middle, for example, yep. and then you take your ball from your left eye and you drop it. Okay, so now that ball landed in front of the ball that you have in front of the putter. Yes. So what do you do to adjust to get proper ball position? I just move to the right. Okay. Until it is directly under my left eye. Okay, so that's right then. So if the ball is now in the forward part of your stance, yep. and yes, the, the club has offset, but yep. it feels like when I, when I move it forward, my hands are now behind the ball. Yep. So where do you want your hands to be? 
just over the ball, directly over the ball. What is it that makes um, putting for the professional level or for a really good putter? What makes them be able to hit the sweet spot all the time? What makes them be able to take any putter and just putt well with it? All right, first of all, of course, it's the setup. Like you must set up correctly and set up consistently. All right, everything is about consistency, right? And then for the putter, the rhythm is really important. Rhythm. Yes. Okay. The rhythm and the tempo. Like we always want to have like a rhythm in our head. It's either fast or slow, but then it's better we can always repeat that same rhythm in order to hit the sweet spot. So you have to experiment it by yourself. Like do a lot of practice. Make sure you set up correctly. The ball is at the center of the face. And then just work on your stroke. See what works better for you. Like what rhythm and what speed and are you consistently hitting the center of the face? If you, if sometimes you feel like, oh, one part I hit it and it goes short and then the other one hit it off and it doesn't, and you feel like you're hitting the same speed, then yep. that's a wrong, wrong, wrong rhythm or wrong setup. It could be either. Okay. Yeah. But first of all, you must have a good stroke and a good setup to hit it consistent first. Then only you talk about distance control or line reading. If you can't get a consistent hit and a good tempo, then forget about the line reading or... Or okay. the long <laughs> yeah, because you. So one of the big things I noticed playing with professionals like uh, Genevieve, who's practicing over there, and Michelle, is that uh, most of them seem to draw the line on the ball. I used to do this back in the day, but with filming and everything, it takes so long to play that I don't want to waste time and hold people up. So I stopped doing it, and I was just, I was just putting that facing me, no logo, just the plain ball. And now I've started using the alignment line, and uh, Michelle reckons it's a good idea. I think to have the line on the ball is just we can get more specific with the line that we pick, you know, and how we want to put it. And also we can see how the roll it is on the ball, right? If you can see the, the as soon as it, as the ball leaves the putter face and you start seeing rolling this way or rolling this way, it could be a push or a pull. So you can see keep rolling that way, then it's, then you actually know that how you're putting that day. Am I pushing the putts all day or am I pulling the putts all day? You can act, actually see it from the reaction of the ball. Yeah, for me, it, for me, the main thing, it, it eliminates my worry about am I aligned correctly? Because yes, yes. if I've lined that up properly and it lines up to my putter, mm -hmm. my putter alignment aid yes. over there, yep. then I, have, I don't have to think about the line anymore. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. focus on the pace yep. to hit that line. And just take it straight back straight to hit that line, that speed, and then you know it's going to go in. Yeah. I think that's actually probably one mm -hmm. of the biggest difference mm -hmm. because the, the whole setup changed, so that yep. helps. Yep. But to take that variable out and make it simpler, Yes. is what's made putting more fun. Yes, so I'm not worried about, am I lined up? Okay, mm -hmm. this feels too far left. Now I have to adjust on the, <laughs> on the stroke yep, yep. And, and adjust the pace with my mm -hmm. stabby stroke. So yes. I think it all comes together. For sure. Because when we look like that, like let's say when we putt, okay, when we, when we look at the line, we usually look from the back of the ball, right? And try to align it with the club or whatever that aims at our target. But then when we put it down, and then when we putt, we have to look this way, and then we, it, it will look a little weird. Mm. The line might not, it's look too much left or too much right. But if you have the line that you set up from the back, you know that it's correct. Then you just have to trust it. You don't have to worry about anything else. So how do you, because I found it's, it's, it takes a while to get used to it. Um, I found the best way for me is to find something on the line I want to putt on within a couple feet and line yes. that up to that yep. and then step away and see if it's lined up properly yes. how do you do it so you don't waste time because a lot of people will say that's going to make me too slow i usually use my putter but i pick a target i use i i put it down on the ground just roughly at where i want to aim it but i use my putter to draw the line between where i want to aim and with the ball so i put the putter on top of the ball just to make sure it's in line it could be a little bit left a little bit right just to just just move it a little bit then you'll be fine yeah and the secret i also noticed is that yeah. if you're moving it on the green mm -hmm. You don't want to go and make big big movements like this because if you're yes. off if you're off by a foot on a long putt it could be as simple just as just simple literal, literally just touching it to the left yep. and it makes a big difference over mm -hmm. the longer putts yes, but sure. more importantly on short putts short this, putts, yeah. this is a killer this is the yep. best That's for sure. yeah i think you should widen your stance all right yep feel like you're a little bit under the putter on your grip like feel like your palms are a little bit under yes yep Yep, that's good. So my thumbs are not on the top. It, that's fine, that's fine. But it's okay. more important with the... I prefer them not on the top anymore. I'm okay, yeah, the that's side. perfect. That's good. I like it as well. Okay. All right. Um, and then the ball position. I'm a bit closer now, right? 
Yes, yeah, stand a little bit closer. Before I was like maybe three putter heads away. Half so the, the toe kind of like stands I feel up. Like away. I'm a putter head or half away. Yep. That's perfect. So that's perfect distance from the ball. You're nicely bent over, straight over the ball. You're better. Yeah. Okay, but a big question I have now is that when I do this, and I've done, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing this now. Yeah. I'm not doing. Yes, that. and your elbow will naturally tuck on the side of the body. I, I like that feeling because it feels like one unit. Yep. But the one thing I'm picking up is that I get tension in my shoulders. I can mm. feel it tensing up. Really? Yeah, like like I have to tense them to hold it there. Uh, what is that? So maybe you're just gripping it too tight in the grip. Yeah, just as long your arm, as long your hands can support the grip, that's that's enough. Yes. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. And then there's something else you told me to just let it go. Yes, and sometimes when we try to lead, our body actually moves with the putter. Okay. So if I'm here and I let the putter go, I'm actually I can move the. I will make sure that my left shoulder will go up as well. It's more like a rocking. Okay, so focus on rocking in the shoulders. Rocking the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. It's basically the same as chipping. What else do I do? Is that? Yes. Like stance stance is good. Yes, eyes over the ball. Handle a little forward over the ball. That's like per. That. Yep. A little, yep. A little bit more if possible. Just over the ball. Yeah, perfect. Right there. Yeah, uh, that one feels really forward to me. So it's nice to have you confirm that that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wasn't sure. Okay, as long as the handle is over the ball. Like right there. Yep. Now, what did I do there? Did I hold, did I hold it? Did I? No. Did I let it go? You actually did critic, but I thought the ball position was too much on the left leg on that one. Too much on the left. Yeah, it wasn't under your left eye. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's much better stroke. Now, is that a good stroke? Yes. It's not jammed. Much more, no. Okay. It's good. Try one more. So you make sure your pre-show routine is the same for a three-footer or even it's 30 footer. It has to be the same pre-show routine. So if you can practice once in a while, time yourself and see how long it takes. From a, as soon as you line up the ball, you, you, get the, you got the line correct, that's when you start timing yourself. Putting stroke and... So you time it? Yeah. If, I mean, just for practice. Yeah. So you want to know your rhythm, even though it's short part and long part. Sometimes when it's short part, we think that ah, I'm going to hit it in anyway. I'm just go ahead and knock it. Yeah. So you miss that. And sometimes you're like, oh my, what, what, what do I do? You know? For pre-show sure routine, especially for long putts, in order to try to get the speed right, I would like to, I would like to look at the hole during my practice stroke, trying to feel it, keep my eye on the hole, just looking at it, just trying to get my hands to feel how hard I want to hit it, how much I want to, I mean like, how high I want to hit it basically, right? So then just walk up, line up the ball correctly, line it up very correctly, one look, Keep that picture of the hole in your mind. Let it go. What a putter. Okay, so that one was behind the hole. I hit it past the hole, right? It's about like three feet past the hole. So then it's directly right behind the hole. And so I got the line right, I hit it too hard. So if it's going, you mean if it finishes behind the cup? Yes. You get the line right. Right. But, but I hit it too hard. But cool. if it stops in front of the cup in line, that means I hit it too soft. But I got the light, right line. If it's on the right side, it, it pin high with the hole, I got, I got the speed right, but the line wrong. Try to watch how the ball actually passed the hole, like what line it took, and try to... I mean, it helps you out with the line up and everything for the next part. Bang the next one in. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, keep your eye on the hole. Like, keep it there, just feel it. Feel how hard you want to hit it. All right. Now walk up to the ball, one more look. Okay, keep that picture of the hole in your eye, in, in your brain. Yes, so on that last putt, we took maybe about, okay, we hit it hard as well and we missed it low. That means that was too hard and also not enough break. <laughs> wrong line, wrong strong. Okay, I got you. Wrong strong. Yeah, wrong line, wrong strong. <laughs>
think this is just from habit, but you're putting a lot better because the stroke and the stance is more consistent. That's why you're putting a lot better. Okay. All right. But right now, what I still notice is taking a little bit too short. And too short. Push it and That's pushing it from habit. Bit, like, you know, a little bit tense and then a little bit. Like you're trying to lift the left shoulder. Just because from here, you're trying to push it to where, the, to where you think you want to go. Okay, so the putt is coming up too high yeah. from the push. So you can take the putt a little longer, it gives you some momentum on the putt. So you don't have to be too worried about how high I want to turn it, <laughs> you know? So, but of course this comes down to practice, yeah? You need to practice a lot. So, handle forward, keep it low. Keep it low. Longer backstroke, keep yeah, it low. longer backstroke. Okay, lengthen more, more. Yeah, it's good. More. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that feels so, I feel so scared. Why? Then you just have to take it shorter and shorter. Yeah. That is a way better stroke. That is way better stroke. I mean, when we get the stroke right, that is just more for practicing. But when you're trying to make the putt on the golf course, don't think too much about how you stroke it or how low I need to keep the putter. Just focus on keeping that the picture of the pole in your mind and just get the ball there. Not the hole in my brain. Yes, one more look. Yep. Yeah, that's too much break, I know, but I wanted to keep it high. It's but good. Is that okay? But your speed is good, though. I think it's just because you've been playing on the slower green. It's yeah. Right. Like, all the, all the ball is just, like, clustered together. Yeah. 100% that would be on Forest City next to the hole. Yeah. So. Or maybe in, because it's all behind the behind the, behind the the hole. Okay, so, so you those, actually got the right line. So you're happy with those parts? Yes, of course. Okay, because my, my problem now is... I want to understand how, if I'm lengthening my stroke from coming from a stabbier stroke, mm -hmm. when I get here, mm -hmm. I feel weird. I feel like it's gonna be like so far. It's gonna go so far. Yeah, I can feel the brakes. I can. I'm putting the brakes on here uh -huh. to get the to get the speed. Not on the main part, but my practice part is very difficult for me to do. It's just a rhythm. You just rock the shoulder, like. So just focus on these shoulders. Yeah, and you're going to feel a little bit of tension on the back over here. Yeah. On the lower back. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I have the Callaway um, Easy Swing or something. It's, uh -huh. a, it's that, that figure eight ah, you yeah, put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that thing helps you to keep the arms next to your body as well. Because I used it in a nine hole thing on my channel. And I noticed when I use that thing on the putting green, I use it on every shot on the course. But yeah. when I use it putting, I hold everything. Yeah. And I thought, hang on, when I wear this thing, my grip doesn't fight itself. But because, I didn't know it's correct to do that. Yeah. And now that you've told me that, it gave me an approval that it's okay. But yeah. why have you said it's good for me? Because it's just more connected to the body. If it's the arms are away, especially if it's such a small movement, it could be just real wobbly. And the room for error is not as wide as the fairway, right? So I always like to use more of the bigger muscle, use more of the body, because this don't really move that much compared to the hands and the wrists. So I like to have the hands more tucked into the elbow, tucked into the side of the body, and use more of the shoulders. That this could be this only I can repeat a more consistent stroke. So it's more repeat, more, more repeatable. repeatable. After the first lesson with Michelle, I noticed that I wasn't hitting the sweet spot because she made me do a couple things on the practice green, on the green out on the course that made me realize I was hitting it off the heel, off the toe. It was never off the sweet spot, and I thought that this putter sucked. So what I actually did is I added two elastic bands and I played two or three rounds with it like this and I hit the putting green for a few sessions that if I if I miss the sweet spot left or right it just like it just poofies off to the left or right because it hits the elastic bands so it made the sweet spot really small but now after those just those two or three rounds I'm starting to hit the sweet spot on every putt instead of towing it all over the place you can actually have it a little bit wider yeah you can have Don't it wider. stress yourself out there you can have it wider but I didn't 